All right. Let's keep it rolling. Anderson, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Look, he hasn't noticed that Alan is, Wake is standing is right there? Who I think it is. Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Okay. Alex Just Casey. Me use one area, How? take the car back. Okay. Am I still... Is this the dark place? Okay, so oh, do I... I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Wasn't there a page in his hand? It's a bit of a height to the car, Wake. Get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just, I, I need another minute. Optional, investigate the previously Conference flooded Lake. area. I thought I'd never see this place again. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. Just don't. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. No. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. I don't know where the flooded area is, though. Like, I'm assuming it's this area. And a gun. You can relax, wake. And pages. If you see pages under this right tree, maybe? You must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. Okay. They okay. have vital information. So he's, he's talking about the pages. They include vital information. If you find them, you need to keep them. Don't let them out. Got a dead deer here. Oh, Miz, I don't see anything in this flooded area. Unless this is it up here. We're just going to have a quick look at... Oh, here we go. A creepy twig sculpture. Another one. Here we go. Yeah, we're investigating now. We got some sort of loot cache here. Oh, oh. A locked box. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to... Is that uh, the cult of the tree symbol on it? Okay. Okay. That's it? Notes and ammo. Remember, they look like us, like but they tools aren't. The trade. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. So is that... I don't even know what that was. Dynamite? You're bigger. Okay. Well, that is interesting. I don't see anything else here. Let's uh, have a quick look at our investigation board. Where are we right now? So we're all the way over here. I don't think we can go any further there. That's where the overlap is. I think we've checked out the whole thing. Unless... Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. Yep. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? I don't know. What kind of case is this? Okay. Is that all we got? Cases? Okay. See, it says still says optional investigate the previously flooded area so that tells me that we haven't found everything that we could so i feel like we haven't found everything that we need to but i have a quick look at the map just here this is the flooded area down here Oh, wait a minute. There's a whole... The finder station and everything like that. I don't think we can get there right now. But I think we've investigated everything we can. 
Is this takes us back up to where we came from? We can have a, another quick look around down here. Oh, hold up. There's another page. I wish it did read it as we played. So I don't know if this is just side content that we are looking for or whether this plays in the main quest. We can go over here. Oh, we've already been over here. There's one other place that I want to look just out of curiosity. So this is back where they were before. There's one other thing on the map that I saw that I don't think we checked out properly. And then I want to try to go up. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything and I don't think we can. Can we go up here? We might actually be able to go up here. No, we can't. All right. Let's make our way back to the vehicle. Even though it still says optional search the area, I have no idea where else to search, so. I think we are out of luck. Or I'm just looking in the wrong spot, but we've opened the chest thing that we found. Okay, let's work our way up over here. I think we got to get back to the car. I don't know if this is the fastest way. Probably not because we can't go. Where the heck's our car? Which is hot fuse box. It is hard to get around and you can't like fast travel. Can you? No. We have to go to our right in the direction that we are looking now. It does say that... Oh, hold up. Found another manuscript page. I'm assuming these are like collectibles that kind of fill in the blank, maybe add to the story. Game saved. Okay, we're going the right direction. You can quick turn. Pressing backwards twice. Oh, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to use that very well. <laughs> Where the heck? Okay, so this is the, the witch's handle thingy. What in the actual? A freaking wolf? Oh my God. Like get them? The animals are turning into monsters. Jesus. This is also flooded area that we couldn't get into before. We got soft stuff over here. I also have like I think shotgun shells that manuscript pages. See that glowing yellow the thing? The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. I what's inside. Idea. So this I says. Take a look around for a way to open this thing. It says light bulb, and then it's locked, as well as an arrow pointing this way. This way. This way. Okay, we got something here. Okay, we're just gonna follow this. We get more ammo, which is good. Down. Keys. Okay. Anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Because these are different. Are these different arrows? Oh, no, they're not. They lead to the same place. Wait, am I going the wrong direction now? 
Where the heck am I? How did I get lost? We're now on a bridge. What the heck did I do? Map. That's blocked. And the bridge should be blocked. Okay. But we do find some things. Something to do with not even fish. That's it over here. I'm going to check that bridge. And I guess we're headed back the other way. I'm pretty sure this bridge is going to be blocked. Maybe not. Yeah, I do. We will check that bridge out in a second. But I do want to open that chest. I'm curious what is in it. But I don't. Okay, here, here, here. Here we go. Right there. And what do we get? The cult is watching right now. That's creepy. Okay, so we did that. Now I do want to go back this way. Somehow. I think this way. Oh, did my lost again? It is extremely difficult to make your way through this forest with how dark it is. Dreamside Cauldron Lake. So we got a camera. There's something written here. A poem? Where? Where do you, where do you or see? Or a riddle. It? Nursery rhymes. A little clothes bindle. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Okay. I don't know if I... Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for fight, four for struggle, five for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Oh... Doesn't look right. Something feels different. I should look around. Okay, well, we found something. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Okay. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Oh, the light actually hurts them? So I think that's like a side mission thing that we just did, I think. I'm just still looking around. Uh, can't forget the dolls. Might need them again. Wait, so I'm picking... I'm taking the doll? Did we like solve that? Yeah, I guess we take the crow doll. Making my way around town here. Mm, we might get attacked here. So where things are going to get sketchy. Oh, that one doesn't work. That one's all locked. This, which is finder station. I feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves. I feel like we're going to come back to this area at some point after we go into the city, but never know. It told me to look around. I didn't expect us to be able to go like this far. Don't know where that takes us. Okay, so this is a house. Another one of those rhymes. Okay, so we got another rhyme. I'm assuming. Whoops. A hero brave and strong left home to right wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry. He ate what we found in the house without a... Okay. I'm assuming one of these I put the doll.
no idea what. I just got lucky with the sun. Okay, so that didn't work this time. Okay, we're going to check out this house. And then uh, we're going to head back to the car. We've got a radio in here, though. Oh, boy. I don't like this. I have a feeling. Administrator, and then we need a password. Bullets. I feel like we're ahead of ourselves. Hey there, here. Mr. Deer. What, we just you remind me of a dream I had. It's really dark. Can we turn the light back on, please? We just pet the deer. We're either looking for a password or a doll. Or we're just going to get attacked in here. One, one of the three. Maybe here? Okay, we do have something going on in the case board here. Nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. So I'm assuming that this is like, these are side missions. I would assume. Think. I think I need to zoom out. So this is So you can either do this by actually reading all this stuff. Strange dolls. So this one. So there's definitely a bunch of these strange dolls. Keep trying. Does this one go here? No. This one goes here. No. This one goes here. No. <laughs> well, this has to do with the FBC. All I know is uh, we're doing a horrible job of making a case here. Doesn't make sense. There we go. We've placed everything, but that doesn't really help us. Got a... Okay, can we open the door? We can. Camera, more papers, which finder station stream side. Test sites. Okay, so those are the locations of where all of the rituals are. There we go. We got a bunch of creepy dolls now. I don't know what's going on. I think we just get back to the car. Yeah. How the heck do I get to the car? There's even more. This is a big location. Rental cabins. Where the heck is the car? Break room. I don't know how to get back to the car. The doll we get just looked like it was from Frozen. Point of interest. Point of interest, which is HUD. I don't know. I'm assuming we will figure all this out eventually, but for now. Oh, there's a manuscript page. I think we just need to get back to the car. I wish we could fast travel to the car. But apparently we need to make our way back through the woods. Okay, that's a interesting little dealie. Is that a 
kids lunchbox it and is. Alex Casey movie lunchbox Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as any skip frag with can you use to upgrade weapons he hates those cheesy crime books but he really hates the movies Yeah, so we need a bunch of fragments. We only have nine. Gotcha. Didn't know you could upgrade weapons. I have no idea where I am and no idea how to get back to the car. That is an issue. Where am I? Okay, now I'm in water. I don't like that at all. Like at all, at all. Don't recognize any of this. We got something over here. Oh boy. Oh no, look, that's just a waterfall. I thought it was like the thing I shoot a flashlight at. Tell me my car is. Oh. We got something up here though. Is it locked? No, it's not. It's empty. I feel like I need to go up. I feel like if, if you're a car, you're going to be up. You know, park at the top, walk down. What do we have here? Witch's hut. I think we are going the right direction. There's a light over here. I feel like that's where we need to go. Yeah, because here's the... Okay, we're getting there. We're getting don't there. I don't think I'm done here yet. Wait, What? What does she mean when she says she's not done here yet? Did you notice that she said that? I don't think I'm done here yet. What's that? Can I not interact with that? Oh, we just... Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Yeah, we need this shotgun. Yeah, this is the counter. So it's not 705. Okay, wait. 705, 713, 717, 723. Auto Washington. Okay, there's probably a pattern to this. It's plus eight, plus four. Palm reading crystal ball. Wait, Madam Fortune. Can we can we move the Rolodex? Because it said something about Fortuna. The fact that this is this, this, plus six. Eight plus four plus six. Seven oh five. Oh wait, wait, wait. There it is. Look at, look at. So the first one's seven oh five. So you just put a, a seven in front of oh five. Then it's seven thirteen, and seven seventeen, seven twenty three. So it's going to be seven thirty nine. God, I'm genius. Seven. Wait, three, nine. Got it. And there's the shotgun, B. Okay, let's go. Start putting some stuff in our quick slots. We're going to. Put shotgun. Right. And then we'll put med packs. Whoops, whoops. Put med packs down. Whoops, do not like that. 
I don't know what that alarm thing going off is, but the important part is we have a shotgun. We can get attacked now and it doesn't even matter. Okay. Can we please head back. Please head back to the car. So is that like if I didn't do that, if I didn't go back in there and I didn't get the shotgun, would I just not have a shotgun? Though? Okay. A lunchbox again. What the heck? Who's leaving these out here? I don't know, but we're getting fragments like crazy. Where am I now? I guess we can't go that way. I just want to go to the car, man. Oh, parking lot. It's over there. How did I miss... Okay, I know where we have to go. I don't know how the hardest part of this game has been finding the car. But I think I know where I need to go now. I think. I think we got to go back past the crime scene. And get to the car. So it's here... Let me go past and then to the left. Oh, good lord. Watch this, watch this. Ready? Boom. Can I have your wrench? Oh. I don't want to waste shotgun bullets because that's a little too strong. This carving looks fresh. Are they planning another one? Okay. I think I'm just going to keep heading unless cases. Oh, now we got the lunchbox clues. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. Jeez. Think. I'm gonna say that these can we not Right. I'm gonna have OCD about putting those things on the board. I think I am going to switch to my pistol just because I don't want to waste shotgun ammo because I feel like Wait, wait, wait. I we think the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? There's I think an alarm I'm done going here. off. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Yeah, we did the optional thing. Yeah, there's an alarm going off at this the FBC thing. We check it out. We already did look in there, so I don't think there's anything we can actually do there. I don't know where those dudes went that were there, though. Okay. Where do we... Where's my vehicle? Wait, wait, wait. I see something over here. I think it's manuscript pages. Nope, just some stuff about birds. And trees and other things. Okay. I think the car is up here. I'm wrong. I might be wrong. Is the car <laughs> apparently right behind me? Wait, is uh, the parking lot's here? What am I missing? Did we not park in the parking lot? My car, it should be literally right behind me. Oh, it was. Never mind. 
ready to go? Yep. So I think we found a ton of side mission stuff there. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. So this is Logan Don't again. Out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's what going happened? On? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Yeah, put um, your father okay. on the phone. I have to have a word Dad, with him. It's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but oh, she I'm keeping an eye on her. It is a girl. Lucky I heard her fall. I remember how the person at the could diner said that your daughter. Jesus, David. Wait a minute. She could have drowned. Why didn't you call? I tried. What? It didn't go through. She's fine. Really. I just got goosebumps. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a uh, just weird case. That's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. All right, we're back. Love in... you too, honey. So Logan is our daughter, Wanna and she did almost Logan? drown. Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Wait, so this is actually the lodge where we're staying in Bright Falls. But like, so like my mind palace is our hotel room. Well, someone's got to interview him. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No, no, they'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. Nightingale was looking for Alan Wake. Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Dark Presence. years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently, but your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. What are you staring at? I remember. I remember. to go on a TV interview. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Welcome. We have a great show for you here tonight. Alan Wake is here. Alan Wake, one of my all time favorite writers and guests on the show. He's here to talk about his latest book. Oh, oh. And as usual, our health man. Uh, late night. Awesome ass guard is here. Oh, and you away, you crazy Vikings. I am a talk show tonight. Waking up in places where initiation no one got there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Okay. Had I already done the show? 
Was that a recording? Oh, wait, here. What do we have? Oh, we're going into the TV now. Cool, that's a real life actor. That's not, I don't think that's animated at least. to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? What? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, <laughs> our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would he doesn't even know he wrote it? A, an auto-fictional thought experiment, a, a, a horror story, a postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay you got me good prank very funny but yeah i sad to say i, I i've not written this I, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written that's right alex casey is in this book as well uh, i guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show the joke's on me but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction no but seriously i found the uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating it reminded me of the matrix i mean the writer is like he legitimately has no idea what's going on there and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. <laughs> notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of... My entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once. Is he the only one that notices the lights going crazy? <gasps> okay, so we are now back here, but we are in the game. Hello? That cutscene was really quiet for some reason. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. Alice, okay. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? I don't Initiation? know. Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. 
I was a mess. I don't have a flashlight in here. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Okay, was I losing my mind? I think you're losing your mind, Alan. Oh, crap. We need a code. Um... Did I miss something? Got to be a code or something in here. I don't see anything though. Okay, is this not the way that I go? Hey, I think I've been locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now I, I have to find the code myself. Great. We got some sort of. Oh, gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Neighbor of the Beast 665. I'm gonna guess that that is the code. Not the number of the beast. Neighbor. You got it. Okay. We still don't have a flashlight. And we gotta go this way. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. Okay. What was that? Wait, can a I go back? Oh, I can't look at it now. Say. The next time I see one of those, I gotta make sure I click on the TV. Okay. And it's locked. Cafeteria and stage. Oh, we got a door here. Got anything on the desk? No. Is there? I had to get out. Oh, well, I'm working on it, Alan. Stage. Game saved. Uh oh. We're going to get attacked. Yo! I still think this is like a flashback or something. Okay. This is the ritual to reach you all. Back in the cabin? Oh no, where the heck were at the writer's desk? Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. This is a so confusing. Surfaced, about writing here for countless days. Okay. So now we have these. I think we're gonna make a memory board here as well. A Initiation draft. Out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must okay. write to escape. Plot board. Can I do anything here? Dark place, trapped. We're back to writing. Okay, so there's nothing I can do there. Got a TV. Okay, I think we literally just get back to writing. This game is already insanely trippy, and I'm assuming it's only going to get trippier. I didn't remember much. But I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room. Like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Okay. We're back at the talk show again. Dude, what is going on? Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. 
Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Damn right, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And, of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best-selling writer, the books, the films are based on. Find Let's a way out of the talk show studio. Okay. My interview is current. Okay. Green room. Oh, wait, wait. So we do have to go back in. So we're literally doing the same thing again. Welcome back to the show. So, oh, we got Alan, another person here with as us. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Was that a it film now? Say something first, Sam. Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing we shed light on this sordid mystery. What? That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? It's, here we go again. <gasps> so. We're back here. We had a different interview. Can't go the other way, so we go the same way. I am so curious if we go down here. Is it the same thing? Do we have... Yes. Wait. Six, five. Six, five. So it's different than last time. It is. What about this? Is this different? No, it's the same book. So... Do we do... Hold up. Because it was 665 and we put that in and it got wrong. 566. 565? 565. Five, six, five. Five, it's either 565. Yeah. Still don't have a flashlight. Still don't like that. All right, so going here, the TV doesn't go on this time. Get back through here. Is this main door going to be locked again? Yes, it is. Turn back around. Like this is the exact same thing that we did last time. And then as soon as we get to this door, 
the beast arrives. Oh, it opened this time. Okay, let's. Hello? Open that door this time. We hear someone humming. We got the toilets here. What are you staring at, bro? Lorraine, there you are, Tom. Tom? Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. What are you not talking one about? Without the other. Oh. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> Literally, has a picture of him on the door. Of course, Tom. Why does he keep calling me Tom? Its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. I don't want to go in the basement. Okay. Okay, so there's toilets here. Can we open the door to that? We can. Anything actually in here? I think I will say is like. The way that they do mirrors in this, I'm not sure if it's like on purpose or if it's just the way they're rendering in for me, but you can't really see through mirrors. Stage. Map. We got a new map. Okay, exit. We found. So, exit. Can we like turn lights on? It would be a lot more settling. Basement. I mean, he did tell us to go to the basement, so I guess this is what we're doing. Find a way out. Okay, I can't get through that door for some reason, so... Alan Wake, this is our dressing room. So now this door is open. That's the other side of the stage, correct? No, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is where we started. I needed to find the basement the janitor mentioned. I did, but that couldn't go through the door, dude. Okay, maybe we do look at the map. Map. So it works, the gameplay works the same basement it's behind me so out left left and then left again okay left left I should be able to go through that door why can I not do I need a key I bet you I need a key crap we go back and talk to the janitor again. I don't see anything on here. Unless. Dude, you got a key in here? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry. Don't. I wonder, was he, anyone in chat that played Alan Wake 1, tricks. is he a character that was in the first one? Just remember to turn on the lights. On the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a pack of air mans. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. What? <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the okay. basement where you left it. <laughs> so we need to go into the shoebox in, in the, the basement. Purse, here's the key. Ah, so he did give us a key. All right. All right. Guess we're going to the basement. I also have to sneeze right now. Really bad. Okay, so shoebox, basement, get a tool. Then we can build our own exit. 
That's all I know of right now. And it is dark down here. I, I really have to sneeze. You say, oh my god, it's the guy from Fortnite? Like, are you talking about, like, Keanu Reeves? Holy dark, Batman. Like, I literally cannot see anything. Okay. An old lamp and a shoebox. And I have. Is this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Okay. Can I use it? I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Light. Oh, it absorbs. Whoa. When the light jumped into my lamp, oh, the what? whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. What if I go like this? Okay. That's cool. Let's go this way. See what's up. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting okay. the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Wait, can I do... I can't see frickin' anything in here. Wait a minute. If I do this... I need to be through this door. Then what happens? Okay, that is cool. If I do this... No idea where I'm going right now. It's just like two different... I needed to find another way out. Yeah, well that doesn't work. So much for that idea. Where the heck am I right now? Oh, there's another door. That one does open. What the heck? Go to the TV. Let's do it. Changes. Can I not use no charges? Um, I can't. Okay. It is so dark in here, man. Ah. Huh. So if I do this. Then go through here. There's stairs going down, stairs going... And then I go through here? Still no? Yep, no, it works now. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The clicker. The light switch. Oh. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place. So the is clicker is something that switches that you in between the two. More real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. So that answers what the clicker is I'm now. Trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, and the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. 
the map the key to compass? End of part. <laughs>